amazing foxes right. that you can just think of right on the top of the head. Larry's certainly one of them. Been it's kind of turning into time. like its own little uh, crew, like turf war between right. the wolves and the foxes. Yeah, and exactly. Then you have uh, Falco. Nobody really plays Falco. <laughs> yeah, the one before. Falco. <laughs> I think we still got Keitaro holding yeah. out hope. Oh, and uh, I think Armando said that he's going to start playing some Falco oh, okay. too. So there's there, there's still there's still some hope from the bird. Larry but. has a oh, Falco yeah, technically. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say. Larry makes spaces. Yeah, he just means the spaces right. straight up. But uh, here we go. We're going to go into this game one. It's going to be... Oh, Taternator plays Windy? Yeah. That's hype. And I know that he's, you know, in the past struggled against Fox as a character, you know, in general, uh, just because of all the uh, quick frame data options of the boxing game. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be definitely an uphill battle. Plus, Larry being from SoCal, there's no real gimmick factor. You kind of know the players a little bit better overall. Right. I've been hearing a lot of negative things about uh, Bowser Jr. as a character and Windy, of course. Uh, it's just, I don't know what it is exactly about the character, but they've said that she's possibly the worst character <laughs> in the game, or second worst, because everybody knows it's a little nice and worse, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't know about uh, the worst character for Bowser Jr. I do know that, you know, from a player history, I've talked to Tanner a little bit about it, and he at one point at the start of the game went to Inkling initially, because okay. he, thought, um, he thought Bowser Jr. was garbage. And then, you know, uh, after a few weeks into the tournaments, he started going Bowser Jr. again, or, or Wendy. Ooh. And a lot of that because he, he kind of had the epiphany that if he hits more buttons, he might do a little bit better. <laughs> All right. He's hitting these buttons right now, man. Yeah. Keeping this completely even versus one of the best players in the world. Not bad. Uh, uh oh, that's an up smash. Oh, uh, there's a tech roll read. Yeah. <laughs> Larry had like that safety read. He's like, I'm not sure if I'm going to get it. And Tater Nader didn't want to commit to a tech or anything. I think it was an even worse position. Woo! Oh, my God. What a... So right clean, there. and he did that out of being hit by like up tilts, yeah. and it didn't phase him. He was waiting for his Mecha Koopa to come save him. Like, please, White Knight, protect me. <laughs> he came through. Don't worry, always there for you. Yeah, the, that first 30 damage seems so free for Bowser Jr. from Wendy, and there's even more coming through. Yeah, looking good. Oh, All right. and himself with the uh, the the Mecha Koopa, probably not what he wanted. <laughs> yeah, not exactly. All right, good dash attacks right here. Following it up with the up air strings. Uh, so much pressure from Larry. And again, Ooh. there's that tech situation. Sheesh. I almost wonder if it would have been better for Tatanator to just air dodge off stage and yeah. get out of harm's way. Sometimes, yeah, it's like you don't want to put yourself off stage like that, but you have to in certain situations. Right. Especially when it's like either that or the stock. You know? Right. And you know Larry's <laughs> on the hunt for that always. Oh, it's side me into dash attack? Excuse me? And Wait. after a promising first stock, uh, Larry has... Seemed to solve the riddle and just kind of stuffing anything that Tinnerator throws out right down his throat. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I like that. Gonna punish an up tilt with up smash. Yeah, finally. It caught him being a little too aggressive, as we were saying, and got him with an up smash out of shield. Yeah, that's definitely something you need to keep in mind if you know your opponent, especially if you're a character that has a counter or something like that, and you see you have a super aggressive opponent. Yeah, you, you gotta go for that. The fundamental block and punish, block and punish. Yeah. Very true. All right, rapid jabs on the ledge. How's she going to recover at 120%? So scary. I like the aggression. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> if Warrior has that district in range, but it doesn't have the frame data, and Larry just uh, smashed it out of shield, no problem. Yeah, and her hurt box looks huge. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Yeah. And there goes game one. So Larry looking, taking a comfortable lead. Uh, Tatanator going to kind of rethink some of his, some of his options. And I like that. I yeah. feel like people don't think enough in right. between games. Like, you just want to get back into it. No, sometimes you need to sit there and be like, what did I do wrong? What yeah. could I do better? Even if you're just thinking about stage choice or music choice, you yeah. know? <laughs> or what color character you want to go with next. Or think like, of all of the above at the same time. Yeah, exactly. It <laughs> it's all important, man. It goes into it. What's your plan, man? It's going right back to PS2. All right, so it must have been more of gameplay thoughts. Yeah. And I think, you know, if you're Tatanator, you had a good start. Had some momentum, and then it looked like Larry just kind of flipped it into overdrive and ran through you. So he's got to figure out a way to just kind of stay slippery and not let Larry dictate the pacing on the entire match. Very true. And I think back to that pickup that he got out of the Mecha Koopa, man. I want to see more stuff like that. Right, yeah, some more Mecha Koopas down. Because that, all, you know, that has the dual purpose of getting him out of some of the combos, but also controlling the floor and controlling some of Fox's dash speed. Right. But you don't need Dash Speed if you're juggling them with a thousand up here. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, she's just having no options to get out of the situation. I really do think that she could benefit heavily by uh, throwing out extra Mecha Koopas, even though it's kind of risky to put that out there in front of Larry. You might need to. Yikes, man. Let her back on the stage. <laughs> it's a two-player game, Larry. It's all right. <laughs> For real. Yeah, that's a back air. And, yeah. 
it. Okay, they can pick it back up. And I like the hammer usage, but it doesn't matter because he's going to down tilt, catch her off the ledge, and then get the up air follow up. If that had been any player but, you know, like a SoCal player that has seen it before, they probably would have gotten hit by that hammer. But unfortunately for Tatanator, you know, it's some of the mid tier options there, their illusions there. And as soon as the magician loses the, the suspension of disbelief on right. the magic, it's not going <laughs> to work anymore. Yeah. He's gonna figure that one out and keep her trapped to the ledge here with the dash attack. Didn't care what option she went for, just backed up and waited it out. All these up tilts, man. Call me Mario? <laughs> Actually, I guess Fox been doing that himself, so. <laughs> Scary spot. Oh my oh! god, he tried to shine him out of that, but. And that's what he gets. <laughs> Lose the stock for that one. You know Larry probably had a chuckle for it. Man, if he got that, though. <laughs> well, he got that, like, though. That'd have been the dagger that sealed it, but. <laughs> that's what you just ended. It's like, okay, you win the game. <laughs> And I think a lot of the, you know, T er, Larry's been very fearless and not even worrying about aerials on uh, on Tatanator's shield. And a lot of that has to do with the frame data from Bowser Jr. or Wendy's, you know, grab. If he gets in that close quarters, it doesn't really matter. There's really no answer unless unless uh, Tatanator is able to sneak in and up smash out a shield. But that's a heavy commitment, too. Yeah. Very true. All right, he's trying to trap her once again at this ledge. I mean, we saw him do some crazy stuff in the first stock. Oh, not letting her on. They're trying to go for the shine spike again. No one's getting F smashed for it. Would have deserved it once more. And for the first time in the set or in the game, it seems like Tatanator is able to play a little bit of neutral and breathe. Gets a Koopa out. Yeah, and I like that Koopa being on the field. But unfortunately, yeah, it just goes away a little bit too fast. Or yeah, too fast. And Larry didn't even contest with it. He just waited on the left side of the stage, like let it explode. Okay, I'm coming in. Yeah, this matchup just looks rough. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Any commitment on Tatanator's part is getting punished for like a good 3 damage, except Ooh. for there. <laughs> yeah, and he uses uh, the bomb hit of that up B. That's, to cover the himself. Woo. That's the second stock that we've seen, you know. Oh my Yikes. god, what a read. It's so unfortunate. It's like even if he had teched in play this.